Hey everyone, Mike here. The Starlink beta is in full swing with users in the US, Canada, and the UK. In fact, it's going so well that Elon Musk is promising to double speeds by the end of this year. All the details, coming up. I've been away from YouTube for a while. I know, I know, I'm really sorry about that. I'm not being sued by SpaceX or Elon Musk. I've just been really busy with work and some equipment issues. But there's been so much going on with Starlink, so much happening, that I had to get on and give you some updates. There's so much to choose from, but top of mind for me is Elon Musk is planning to double speeds. About a week ago, Elon Musk tweeted that speed will double to around 300 megabits per second and latency will drop to around 20 milliseconds later this year. As part of the same thread, he also said that he's expecting coverage over most of Earth by the end of 2021. But I'll save coverage for another video. So 100 megabits per second increasing to 300 megabits per second is definitely a huge increase. But in my mind, it doesn't really change the dynamics of how Starlink is changing the world. 100 megabits per second is already very fast. It's fast enough to stream HD video, even 4K video. It's fast enough to do live streaming and really uh, interactive or competitive video games. It's fast enough to work from home and do pretty much anything that a typical family would want to do on the internet. The thing that I do find exciting about this talk of 300 megabits per second is it really reinforces that it's going to actually be a fast internet connection. If they say 300, then they're definitely going to be able to provide 100 megabits per second. So many people out there have been conditioned by ISPs who promise a certain speed but really deliver much less by saying they're going to meet that 300 megabits per second, it really gives everyone confidence that even when the system is fully used and fully deployed out of beta, they're going to be able to at least offer a reliable, consistent 100 megabits per second. Or at least that's what I'm hoping, but it sounds and it's being supported that this is actually gonna be the case. Now, it wasn't covered in the tweet update but what I'm really interested in is whether the 100 to 300 megabits per second increase in download, whether that's going to be accompanied by a similar increase in the upload speed. Often upload is really what's required for things like live streaming, for YouTubers, things like that. So I'm interested to see if that's going to increase as well. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of bandwidth that you think you would need. Is 100 megabits per second enough? Is 300 really going to make things possible for you? What about uploads? Let me know in the comments what you're looking at, what you're using, and while you're down there, if you're getting value from this, hit that like button. It really helps this channel grow. What I've always loved about SpaceX and Starlink is that they're actually out there doing this right now. It's, it's more than just an idea. They're actually serving over 10,000 customers in multiple countries around the world. This is actually being worked on and developed as we speak. Around the same time as Elon tweeted about the speed increase with that 300 megabits per second number, he also tweeted to look out for faster speeds on Starlink right now because the network update is happening right now. This is super exciting to imagine this is going to potentially be increasing really as we speak as part of the beta. Super exciting. I'm excited to be back and I'm looking forward to getting more videos out. Thank you everyone for watching. See you next time.